Hello. Today, we are going to examine a villa-style residential house with an unconventional concept and design. So, please bear with us. The villa was built in the vicinity of Tehran, the capital of Iran, in the town of Masha. The plot of land measures nearly 458 square meters. The house was built in 2021. Checking the site plan and drawings. The land has a 20% slope. North is over here. The south side of the building receives excellent lighting. This is a comparatively small plot of land. There is a parking area on the ground floor which fits two cars. The entrance is over here, but I think it's slightly on the small side. The shoe rack is placed next to the entrance door, but in my view, it's not a very good idea. In this part, we have the staircase and elevator. The bedrooms have been designed on the ground floor. One is a master bedroom with an end suite and the other two bedrooms share a bathroom. But as we move forward, we come across some awkward, wasted space with no functional use. The question is, why is the spatial hierarchy not observed in the house and the bedrooms are located on the ground floor where you have to walk through the private spaces to reach the shared spaces? It would have been preferable to divide the two volumes with a threshold. No separators or thresholds have been envisaged for privacy when designing the rooms and these spaces have a direct view of the bedrooms. The bedrooms are very ordinary, fitted with double beds and closets and a view to the west. This bedroom is both good and bad. It's good because it has a nice view and a double bed fits in it. It also has a terrace, but there is a direct view into the bedroom from this space over here. The master bedroom is relatively better. It has a closet, but it is a bit small. It's okay. It has an end suite and a nice view. The next question is why has the staircase been designed like this? It's out of shape, but can be fixed. First floor plan. The first floor has three large terraces, which is fabulous. Strangely enough, a guest toilet is located in the dining room. The kitchen is too far from the dining room with no easy access. But the dining room has a gorgeous view. I think the walls can have more openings for views and lighting. Overall, it's not bad but the location of the guest toilet in the reception area is a major flaw. Basement plan. This is the basement floor with the mechanical room. We have the laundry room here, next to the shower and toilet for the swimming pool and jacuzzi. It would have been better to design a space before entering the jacuzzi and swimming pool area, like a threshold for the swimming pool. Because the humidity and moisture can rise from the jacuzzi to the other floors through the staircase and affect the air and temperature of the house. The external view and facade. The terrace parapet can be more transparent. Efforts have been made in this section to open up the terrace and view. But the view of the living room has been sacrificed for the external facade. A strong point of the villa house is its flawless execution. The edges are smooth and there are no undulations on the walls. This single sapling here is out of place. The green space would have been better executed in this section, where it can cover the increasing height of the staircase and avoid accidents for the residents due to refractive errors. An excellent overhang with a bar light underneath. The view from the swimming pool is very nice. Using vegetation in this area would have been a good idea since the only view is the facade of the neighboring house and nothing special can be seen. The vegetation can be used for a better view.